being generous with her food on set. Ultimate Shara. <laughs> I'm just a feeder. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You would feed me. <laughs> Florence and I first met at a in a rehearsal space. There was so much build up to the day that we were going to have a rehearsal and the day that we were going to meet each other. I actually had just got off a flight two hours previous. There was no time in the day for me to have showered in my trailer. So I remember just sitting there going, oh my God, I'm gonna meet Scarlett Johansson and I'm smelly. Great, <laughs> fantastic. I was a little nervous because I was kind of geeked out. Charlotte no. and I have been geeking out. Let me tell my story. Sorry, it's I just can't you. believe that you geeked it's about out. about you, my friend. I was a little intimidated, really, because you were you were very grounded and in yourself and there to do the work and everything. And I was like, oh. everybody was like, OK, you ready to go over and meet Scarlett? And I was like, yes. Oh, no, there is so much uh, pressure. And what am I going to say? And then we ended up tickling each other in a trust exercise. And yeah, it was all good. <laughs> I think part of it is is generational a little bit. I'm really Im so impressed uh, by how curious Florence is about herself and like and, and others, how confident she is, but very humble and okay with like her vulnerability and okay to show like her soft underbelly and all that stuff. I was so much more um, guarded when I was, you know, starting, you know, when I was in my 20s, I, I, I was, you know, very sort of protective in different ways, I think because of, you know, it was another, it was 10 years ago, it was another time. And then that's also just part of her personality too. She's just, she's just like an open book. And I, I, I think I learned, you know, to be probably eas a little easier on myself. Um, you know, I feel like I always, Florence, every time I see her, she's like, don't say that. That's not true. You know, she's, always like, <laughs> she's like, don't say that about yourself. That's not true, you know, whatever. Number one thing that I was just so impressed and excited to um, join in with was the fun that Scarlett had on on these on these big sequences. Just to, oh, she'd always come in so happy and doing like a little jig. Or for example, there was a buggy that she would drive around the, the studios and she put a big furry spider on it. Just all these wonderful, <laughs> silly uh, things that would just keep days going. I also think one thing that I remember looking at and feeling really impressed and, and, and excited that I was in the room for was her ability to stop and rethink things. I think it was a very powerful thing for me to see as a, as a young actress looking at this woman who has created this movie and this character and her ability to actually pause and, and rethink something that doesn't work. Whereas I think a lot of the time, especially when you're younger, I suppose, I'm eager to please or get the job done or be like, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. But it was really cool to see this woman just pause a set for a second and, and, and fix an issue and not worry about how many people were saying, come on, come on, we may as well just shoot it. It was like Scarlett was taking control. So yeah, that was a wonderful, a wonderful thing to learn and watch. <laughs> oh God, there's just way too many. I'm doing it in capitals because I mean it the most. I think I spelled a word wrong, but here we go. I got beautiful rosy cheeks when she laughs. Mine says you have a smile that lights up the room. Oh, stop it. Look at those, look at those rosy cheeks. See what I'm saying? So like cute. what happens to her cheeks when she laughs? They go all like <laughs> up here and rosy. Being generous with her food on set. Ultimate <laughs> Shara. <laughs> I'm just a feeder. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You would feed me. It's <laughs> because I was like, "What are you you're eating? The same salad?" Florence has a crazy <laughs> salad that she's obsessed I with. That she makes it loved, every day. I just loved making salads, and Scarlett was like, "Here, have some of this garlic gazpacho before we do a scene <laughs> that's so close that maybe instead of acting tears, you can just smell each other's breath." 
Well, I didn't want to be the only one. That was actually just selfish for me because I didn't right. want to be the only person with garlic breath. Mine right. says, you're a wonderful listener. That's a real gift for those around you. Oh. Wonderful listener. It's true. Yeah. Lawrence is a very compassionate person. We, when we were on the pole, when we were hanging off the pole, Scarlett went down for a wee and she came back and she brought this tub of half-baked cookies. They weren't fully baked, they were half-baked and we literally stood at the bottom of the pole before we got heaved back up and just ate them with our bare fingers and it was just a mush of, of amazing cookie dough slash melted chocolate. And then we were about to go and do an intense fighting hanging off a pole scene. <laughs> but now get into this harness. <laughs> no bathroom breaks Shucks. for three hours. I don't fit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excuse the face. You kind of look like an evil doll in mine. Oh, great. You know, like real life. Great. <laughs> this is awful. Your hand, did you just rip it out? And then I'm gonna give you a weird little hand with a slice of pizza. I'm gonna give you really long lashes. That's what you look like to me. Oh yay! That's what you look like to me. She's Giant eyeballs, beautiful. tiny nose, little smile. I don't see your body. I okay. just see your beautiful smile. That's that's well. I'll show this camera first. I actually gave you like That's a piece so of good. Pizza. That's so but good. That's so good. I'll continue it and send it to you in the post. I learned that Florence is a, a master cartoonist. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that Scarlet fed me to give me garlic breath. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've learned a lot of things actually from Scarlett today. I didn't know how much she watched of me and, and it's been really lovely to hear that she actually saw saw everything and, and that um, all the things that I remembered as such massive moments in my memory of Black Widow filming was the same for her and that's really cool. Our shared experience. Yeah. Thanks, Glamour, for Blama. putting our friendship to the test. 